Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can change your PHP settings in Plask and how to install new versions. So first log into your Plask control panel, then go to websites and domains and select your domain or website where you want to change your PHP settings. If you go to dashboard, here you will see your PHP menu. And if you click on it, here you can change the PHP version. As you can see right now, this is already outdated, so it's a, a good idea to change it to a newer version. So if you click here, you can see all the available versions. Right now the newest version is 8.3, but it's not here. So if you can't find a version here in this uh, dropdown, then it means that you need to install it first. But if you have the version here that you need, you just need to select it and go down here and click OK. And as you can see, the version number changed here. But let's say I want to use the version 8.3. So how do we do that? We need to go to Tools and Settings. By the way, you need to obviously log into your Plesk account with your root admin uh, user, otherwise uh, these options may not be available for you. So here in Tools and Settings, you need to go to Plesk Updates. This will open a new tab. Then we need to go to Add Remove Components. And here at the web hosting section, we need to uh, select the PHP interpreters. Let's uh, expand it. And as you can see that PHP 8.3 uh, is not installed right now. So when you, when you update Plask, the new versions, not just for PHP, but other softwares will also be uh, downloaded. And you can always come here and uh, just uh, install or uninstall uh, anything that you want or, or you don't need. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, let's install 8.3. So here we need to select install and click continue. So Plask will install PHP in the background. Okay, so it's been installed. Let's click OK. Actually, we can close this tab and we can go back to websites and domains. Let's go to the PHP settings. And now we have the latest version available. So let's just select 8.3 and click OK. And now we have the latest PHP version on this, uh, on this account for this website. Okay, so basically that's it. If you have any questions, please just uh, write a comment below and I will do my best to give you a quick and thorough answer. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.